Hi guys, so as you know my tutorials have been getting really long ranging from 20 to 30 minutes which is why I've started a new series of very short tutorials but I won't really be giving a lot of explanation so today I will be teaching the 2x2 and this video is going to be really short so if you really want the full explanation and stuff I suggest you visit my channel I've even posted the link to the full video in the description below hope you enjoy the video Okay, so solving the first layer for the 2x2 two two is certainly easier than solving the first layer for the 3x3 three three because the 2x2 two two only consists of corners. But it can be a bit tricky because the 2x2 two two doesn't have any specific side. So we can create the first layer on any side we want. So let's just go through this. So first we pick any corner that we want. And I have one here. So let's just call this the white side. And just keep our finger on this piece so that we don't lose track of it. Now we just find another piece that has a white and an orange so that we can put that piece here. Now this piece has a white, red and green, not the one we want. This is a white, blue and red, not the one we want. This has a white, orange and green, which means this is the one that we want. Now this needs to come there and we can just do that by moving this twice. And don't worry about the fact that this piece has also come here. We can fix that in a minute. Now we have these two pieces which are fixed. Over here, we need a white and a green piece. And this is not a white and a green piece. This is a white and a green piece. So we bring it in front of where it needs to go. We can't just bring it up normally since that would remove this piece. So we bring this to the side. Bring this down. Bring this back. And bring it up. Because it's on the left side, we move the piece to the right side. If it were the other way, if the piece were on its right side, and we could not move it simply like this, then we would have to move it to the left side, bring this side down, bring this back, and bring it up. By the way, we've solved this piece. Now for the last piece, this needs to go there. So, bring it to the side, bring this down, bring this back, and bring this up now sometimes you can have a situation where the white does not appear on any of these eight colors but it's on the bottom and in this case just bring it below where it needs to go so the whites here it needs to go there and now just bring this side down and move this side twice that brings it out of the bottom and brings it over here now you can just solve it the normal way Bring this to the side, bring this down, bring this back, and bring it up. So that's the end of the first layer, which is pretty much half the cube. So if we cover up the bottom layer, we can see that this is solved. And let's go on to the last layer. So to solve the last layer, we first need to solve the yellow side and then rearrange the pieces. Now, um, you can have this, you can have many situations in the last layer. So this is the simplest one where there's only one dot. I mean, technically the simplest would be with the yellow side already solved. But this is the simplest one where you have to actually do something to solve it. So this is called the fish because it looks like a fish in the 3x3. Three three. It's just one dot. In this case, you put the dot on the left side. And you do this algorithm. It's the same as the 3x3. Three three. R, uh, right side clockwise. Up clockwise. Right side anti-clockwise. Up clockwise. Right side clockwise up clockwise twice so that solves this i'll just go over a few more situations so this is the cross because it looks like a cross in the three by three when the edges are solved so this is where none of the yellow pieces are facing up and they're all towards the side so in this case you just go to the side where there's no yellow at all there's yellow here and there's yellow here so there's no yellow here and you do the same algorithm And then you get to the fish and you know what to do from here. So another situation is where you have two adjacent yellows up. In this situation you just keep both of them on the right side and do the same algorithm. So this will take you to the cross and you know what to do from there. Just go where there's no yellow. And then you get to the fish. There. 
Now sometimes you can get a version of the situation where if you do it on the side like this you don't get the cross and you go directly to a fish which looks slightly different because there's yellow on this side now once you get to this you can just do what you did as usual you will go back to the fish but the normal one with the yellow on this side you just do the same algorithm again and then you solve this and let's go on to rearranging the corners so rearranging the corners in a 2x2 two two is the same thing as doing so on a 3x3 three three. so sometimes you will get a situation where none of the yellow corners match like I do right now so here you just go on any side and you do this algorithm right side anti-clockwise front clockwise right side anti-clockwise back anti-clockwise twice right side clockwise front anti-clockwise right side anti-clockwise back anti-clockwise twice and right side clockwise twice so that solves one of the edges um, two of the edges now you just put these two behind you you need to switch these two now so you just do the exact same algorithm again And that solves the cube.